G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Construct 2 tutorial series. This time around, we are going to be making Super Mario Bros from scratch, okay? Not a single bit of help except for the graphics, okay? Now, what I want to do in this series is I want to give you enough functionality and enough graphics to recreate the entirety of the very first level of Super Mario Bros. And we're talking the very original Nintendo Entertainment System Mario, Super Mario Bros, okay? So, I'm not intending to add every single bit of functionality for the entirety of the game, because that would just be absolutely massive. Alright, in this particular video, all we're going to do is we're going to get some graphics, we're going to set up our game, and we're going to save it. That's about as far as we're going to get for this particular video. The next video, we'll move on to Mario himself. But, before we go too far, in the description of the video, there will be a link to download a zip file of Mario's sprites. And this is what you'll end up getting once you download it. Okay? This is what you call a compressed folder, okay? Or a zip file, if you know what that is, okay? Inside here is a folder full of graphics that we're going to use for every single animation and every single, I suppose, sprite of Mario, okay? And the first thing we need to do is get that folder outside of the compressed folder because we can't work with it inside here. So, let's create a brand new folder where you're going to save your game. So, I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder for simplicity. Super Mario Bros. All right. Inside that folder, I want you to create another folder again. It's going to be called GFX for graphics, okay? For me, because I'm a simple type. All right. Now we've done that, I'm going to go back to the compressed folder, okay? Open him up, copy this directory by right clicking and going copy or control C if you know that shortcut, and go inside your GFX folder and paste it just here and that's every single image of Mario that we're going to utilize and I've prepped it so they're all facing the right way the background is transparent and the majority of them is the are the right size I should say with that done I'm going to go to construct so if you need more time pause the video okay and go get that ready so first of all let's create a new blank game file new new empty projects and we're good to go before you click on anything or do anything at all Let's name the game Super Mario Bros with a full stop because that's how it used to be written. The next one, if you want to set a description, author, email, website, that's entirely up to you. But what we need to change is this window size value because this is quite large, to be honest. And because Super Mario Bros is such an older game and it's basically a couple of pixels across each character, okay, we need to change this width and height for the window size. The width is going to be 256 and the height is going to be 224. All right. If you know why that's the case, why those numbers are like that, okay, put it in the comments, okay? The first person to do it gets a thumbs up. Anyway, the last setting we're going to change over in the properties is this sampling one, okay? And the reason I'm changing this is because right now it's set to a linear property, as you can see. And what that'll try and do is it'll take your graphics and it's going to try and smooth them out. It's going to try and make them look nice and neat. What happens, because Mario is so pixelated and so small, it makes him blurry. All right? So what I'm going to do is change this linear to point. And what that's going to do is it's not going to um, try any smoothing out. It's just going to have pixel by pixel. And Mario will look like he's supposed to. The game is ready. Now let's set up our layout. This is going to be pretty quick. So come up here on the right and click on Layout 1. And first of all, let's name it Level 1. Pretty straightforward, eh? Next, Layout Size. We need to change the height, and the height needs to be the same as the window size, which was 224. And there you go. The way you know that worked is the dotted line on the bottom is no longer there because it meets up with the bottom of the layout. So I'm not going to change the width. We might do that in a future video when we figure out how long the level needs to be. But right now, I'm just going to teach you setting up the game. Okay, layout, you're done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up layers inside our game. And these layers are how you organize all your objects inside your game. So you can put things over the top of other ones. Okay, you can have a background that you can't interact with. You can have an overlay, so like your health in a game sort of thing. For Mario, it's your points and your timer and things like that. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to click the Layers tab on the far right under Projects. If you can't see that Layers tab, go up to View and make sure you tick that layer bar box right there. So, once you're here, we've already got one layer, it's automatically there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this guy to background, 
So if I click this little pencil, it's going to give me the ability to rename to background. And now we're going to add the rest of them. And Ready for it? Let's click add. I'm going to show you a shortcut very quickly. Press F2 on the keyboard at the top, and that allows me to do the rename straight away. So let's add all the layers. So we've got background, level, blocks, enemies, items, Mario, overlay, HUD. All right. So, some of these are self-explanatory, some are not. Background is literally going to be the background. It's going to be the sky, clouds, uh, mountains, everything like that. Level is going to be the floors and things like that. Blocks is literally going to be the blocks that float in the sky that we can headbutt and hit coins out of. Enemies, Goombas, things like that, Koopa Troopers. Items, exactly what it sounds like, mushrooms, coins, things like that. Mario is Mario. Overlay are things that I want to imperi appear sorry, in front of Mario, and we'll get to them later. And generally speaking, it will be things like when Mario again goes down a pipe, you want the pipe to be in front of Mario when he goes down it. And then finally, HUD. Things like your time, things like your coins, and things like that. All right. Two little settings we need to change on two of these layouts. First is the HUD. Okay, and what we're going to change is this parallax setting. What this is, right now, you can see down the bottom, it says the rate at which the layer scrolls in each direction as percentages. So, for example, if our character moved 50 pixels to the right of the screen, this layer would move 50 pixels the other way. And that would, that would, oh, sorry, uh, that is because when Mario moves along the screen, you want things to travel, okay, and move across. But some things you don't want to move, such as the HUD, okay? So what we do there is you set x parallax to zero and y parallax to zero which means if mario moves 50 pixels to the right the hud will move zero pixels okay that's pretty much it the second thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background color okay and we're going to set it to the sky color of mario well the super mario world click on background color and we're going to go to the drop down box we're not going to pick one of these we're going to click other and i'm going to give you the actual code for the original sky color so go custom Okay, and we're going to change the red, green, and blue numbers here. The red should be 154, the green should be 146, and the blue should be 254. And that is the exact tone that the original Super Mario Brothers had. Okay, you click OK, and our entire world now, or level I should say, is now set to the exact right color. Okay, that's it for the first video, everybody. We've set up our game, we've got our layers, we're ready to go. In the next video, we're going to create the ground quickly. Okay, nothing special. And then we're going to create Mario and set up all these animations. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.